Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Smart Trader. This is Dias Paul, and thank you so much for all your likes, comments, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you are a new viewer, definitely go to our channel and watch all the videos. And only if you're liking it, then you can hit the subscribe button to be a part of this big family. For the ones once additional services, always WhatsApp seven eight nine two six five two four eight one is our WhatsApp customer care number. For the ones who wants to be part of my secret Telegram channel, you can open the trading account in about section or else in my video description you can open your account in Zeroda or Upstock or Angel Broking to be part of the big family. Alright, so without wasting time, let's discuss. So if you have not yet watched our previous video which I posted in the afternoon today, so you can watch this video and also the strategy video so that you don't miss out all the learnings. Now talking about the trading view. So this is a learning video. So uh, I'm going to show you how effective we can use the trading view platform. So if you see um, in normally uh, in your upstock or in uh, zero the kite also you have two type of options that is chart IQ and trading view. You know trading view.com we do paper trading and all those. So these guys have the contract of using this trading view. So either you can use a normal uh, simple one chart IQ or else you want to use little bit complicated if you feel then it is trading view. So how to use trading view effectively either in zero the or in upstock or directly from the website so just click here here if you go to your settings you can go to profile in profile you will get these options now I don't want to show my pan card and all those details here that's the reason I'm just kept in the screen so click on this chart IQ after that you can open any chart like this okay so trading view will look a little bit complicated so don't uh, don't get scared or something it is simple as in when you use it will become easy now uh, there are a lot of features in this so first of all you can use multi time frame over here okay so if you see you can select the layout so this is one screen layout two screen so if I hit two screen you can see two charts over here okay so or this angle okay half this side half this side or else let's say you want three you can select three also or you want like this also you will get now let's say I'm enlarging my graph okay over here let me give for example this looks easy for me okay maybe I'll add my so I can click and select so if I select here you see the blue color line over here so if I click over here you see the blue line over here so after clicking here you can change the time frame let's say you're trading at five minutes over here okay so over here let's say you want to trade or look confirmation at 30 minutes so this is how you can you know cross check your trades like this or else if you want three charts or let's say like this okay so your main data is over here your uh, small uh, time frame over here let's say you're gonna check five minutes or three minutes for scalping here if you want you can put 30 minutes here let's say you are putting one day so like this different different information you can put or different different chart now for example here you want to track let's say a stock which is moving let's say which stock any random stock so I think morning infratel was going so let's say infratel is a stock so you got infratel stock like this with all the information so these are your studies you can cancel them if you want all right so this is how the infratel chart looks like now for example you want to look at bank nifty or you want to just go with nifty okay so nifty let's say I'll track nifty June futures so this is how the future looks like you can add any number of studies you want or directly look into the chart like this okay so you can reduce the size here you can increase the size here or you can check any bank index and check over here so bank nifty all that you can cross check based on sector your overall market and your stock so you can change your layout anytime and let's say you want to see in detail what's happening on this particular chart you have an option here okay same way here you have an option also here you have an option so if you click on this let's let me try to click on this option so it will open this particular chart so big chart I can see all the diagrams and if I do want to do any adjustments and later I will minimize it again all right and I will go back so if I want to have a check on this particular chart I will click here so I will see all my details and then I'll get back so this is how you can trade in multi time frame okay so as in when you learn trading when you cross check with a lot of parameters this type of trading will help you a lot so having a big screen or let's say you would have seen a lot of traders using big screen with multiple charts and all those so they will use this multiple options so before they used to use multiple displays like four five six displays you would have seen like this three three displays or six displays like this now 
we are directly having these features where you can put two, three windows like this. If your screen was big, then I would say you could have gone with six also. Okay, if you had a big screen. So in big screen, you can see all this information and track. You can keep changing and you can keep adding also whichever indicator you want. You can keep adding to this and utilize it. So that is one of the feature. Apart from that, we have a feature called undo. Now, for example, I did, now let me change the layout. Simple one, okay. Now, let's say I, I did some, let's say I'm putting RSI. Okay, so I put RSI over here and I don't want it. I did a mistake, I just wanna go redo. So you have an undo option here. So hit undo, it'll go. Or by mistake, you deleted off or something, some indicator you deleted or some setting you deleted you can redo. So you have undo and you have redo option over here. This is one of the good features. Apart from that, you also have something called text. Now imagine you, according to strategy, let's say RSI reached over here, over overbought zone over here. So I'm planning to sell here. So I got a sell position here. So this is my practice. Now sell position here, when RSI reaches down, I will book my profit. So left somewhere here. So if you want to practice your trades or keep a paper trade of it in a different way or to remember what trades you took and one of your best trades or you want to teach somebody, you can click on text. Okay. So after clicking on text, you can just type, let's say, sell here or something like that. And you can change all your details over here, size and all those. And let's say I'm I'm keeping at this particular point I can put an arrow and all those stuff and also you can put buy here and all those information you can edit you can change the color cell let's say I'm putting in red color something like this okay also if you if you want to lock it you can lock it up if you want to hide it you can hide it up and all those so undo again so sell here so like this you can do any type of comments you can put, any studies you can create and all those. After doing that, you can also have one more feature which is called screenshot. So you see an option here in this corner, you have an option to screenshot or else if the short code is uh, for this will be Alt S, okay? So if you keep on this, it says Alt S is the screenshot. So if I want, I did my study here, sell here and I'm doing a buy here, all those I mix, uh, I put and then I'm taking a screenshot. So now the screenshot will go, you can either save, copy your link or you can save your um, good clarity uh, image over here and you can use it for your studies and all those things uh, in your teaching or in if you're writing something, you're writing a blog or you're writing something, you're teaching somewhere or you want to keep it for your personal records. You can take some screenshots and keep like this. So that is one of the good features. And last one of the feature which I want to talk about is go to date. Now imagine today is Friday and the day ended. I want to know in Infratel how Friday also see uh, today the overall okay Infratel went up. Okay. I just want to know last Friday how did Infratel go or whichever month. So you can just go to this option. It's called go to date option. Okay. So click here. You can choose the date. Now for example, today is uh, Friday, right? Friday. So I want last Friday. So I'll click on Friday. Now I want to select the date, uh, sorry, time. And if you see, these are the time over here. Um, let me say, I'll go to nine. In nine, I will go to nine, let's say 9.45. So, okay, I'm just cross-checking like this. So immediately it will go to 9.45 on 5th of June 2020. So this is the time period of this. So if you see the graph of uh, last Friday, it was like this. Now let me just go to my immediate month. Okay. I'll just go to immediate month. Okay. So this is the start of the day. Even today the graph was going above. So somewhere the trend is similar on Fridays on Infratel or something like any studies. I'm just giving an example. Now don't think this is a strategy. I'm just giving you analysis, how you analyze or how you can cross check all the data with the help of this trading view. 
so this is one of the very good feature uh, which every most of the brokers have it so your zeroda has it your upstock also have it so you can change the view and use it in a different way or if you feel it is difficult for you then anytime you can change the setting to normal chart iq and simple one you would have seen in my teaching all simple charts are used so that the beginners also should understand so you can start using this in this way you can start practicing trading view if you're taking trading a little bit seriously this particular screen will trading view screen will help you to analyze in a better way so thank you so much for watching this video if this video helped a lot of beginners then hit that like button and also share this video see you soon in my next video till then take care bye bye